Today, on Atmosphere of Love. The next key, sixth key, will be the key of knowledge. The key of knowledge. This is one thing man should always seek with personal desire, consistently. God's word is what all the sacrifice you can Don't make to get away. it. Atmosphere of Love God will continue God. shortly. Welcome to Love Embassy of All Nations, a Bible church and a leadership training center by Edmunds Okwara Day Ministries, EOM. We have seen many lives transformed. You are next for transformation. Our Peace. church is made Father, up of various the ministries, state of Israel. electronic and, and print media, church Israel. services, live Bible training sessions and also through our website. Humanitarian outreach, helping the widows, widowers, aged and the needy, anti-suicide and success campaign. The annual Love Feast, World Changers Day and Vision Day. To get more information please refer to our brochure, or log into our website www.loveembassy.in, or www.okoroday.org. These are our monthly activities, Sunday morning worship service starts at 7.30 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. respectively, Wednesday Bible study starts at 6 p.m. Every first Sunday is our healing service, one combined service. Every Saturday at 3 p.m. is a general prayer, healing and deliverance service, where we have the prayer line. 11 a.m. every second Saturday is our baptismal class. Every last Friday is our school of prayer, where we come to learn, pray and intercede. Three hours experience of real biblical prayer. And usually there will not be PhD on the following day which is Saturday. You can watch anytime and from anywhere our TV programs, free monthly DVDs, Teach All Nations TV report, short movies and, <laughs> and more on the internet by subscribing to our YouTube channel Teach All Nations. Love Embassy of All Nations, ministering God's love in a hurting world. Atmosphere of love. This is Atmosphere of Love. The next few minutes will revolutionize your thinking and change your life. Now let's join Apostle Edmund Zocorde as he ministers God's love in a hurting world. This is one thing man should always seek with personal desire, consistently. God's word is what all the sacrifice you can make to get it. God upholds all things by the word of his power. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. God upholds all things by the word of his power. Your desire that you pursue in the knowledge of the word will dress you up in the glory of God. I repeat, your desire that you pursue, not you know, many people don't pursue desire. Oh, oh, I love camp meeting. Oh, oh, I love this word of God. Oh, you can speak anything from now to tomorrow. Pursue it. A desire that is not pursued is just wishing. And there is a saying said, if wishes were horses, beggars will ride on them. Don't wish, wish, wish. Uh, yeah. Oh, I wish I can fast for 40 days. Oh, I wish I could pray all night. You know, the all night prayers very nice. You know, yeah, I wish I'll be there. Pursue your desire. Tell your friend. Once more. And so the key of knowledge demands that everyone in Christ Jesus, whenever they come to Bible study, whenever they come to church, they keep their mind in a receptive mode. You keep your mind in what mode? Receptive, receptive mode. You don't come conclusively. You don't conclude about certain things when you come. You come to the presence of God and your heart is open. And like we usually sing that song, I have come to thee, O Lord. I have come to thee, O Lord. I have come to the Father. I have come to renew strength. That's exactly what it is. We didn't come to see something. You know, we came to renew our strength. We came to fellowship with God. The key of knowledge. So the Bible lets us know that lack of knowledge makes lack of knowledge makes a supernatural man ordinary. Lack of knowledge makes an empowered church 
a military church trying to always fight, 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 fight. A church that is made triumphant. A lack of knowledge will make them always militant, always want to fight the devil. So we are not a militant church. We are a triumphant church. We don't fight the devil. We are the church that has won the devil. Because Jesus went ahead of us and paralyzed him and his work. Say amen. amen. And so knowledge will give you that. Will separate that. The quality of your life follows your knowledge. The quality of your life follows what? Your knowledge. So how much of your knowledge of God's word do you have? And also to speak naturally. How much of knowledge naturally do you have? The quality of your life follows your knowledge. Insights and enlightenment also. God's word is a revelation knowledge. God's word is revelation knowledge. This makes you know the difference between purpose and potentials. And when you do, you will never function wrongly. This ability is called wisdom. So when you go after knowledge, you automatically be able to acquire God's wisdom. You go after knowledge. This is the key. The knowledge key is married to wisdom and it brings an uncommon result. Wisdom is the purpose of knowledge. Can you say amen? amen. Having knowledge without wisdom is completely useless. You see, the purpose of knowledge is wisdom. And the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, 18, verse 15, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And uh, in eight, chapter 18, verse 15, it says, The heart of the prudent getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. You know a wise man by his craving for more knowledge, not his words, but in action. You know a wise man by the way he wants to know. He wants to know. If I come to your house and see the collection of your books, I can predict how you think you heard me if I come to your home and see the collection of your books your library library doesn't mean a big room with fan making because you know that's the, that's the mentality of library for people you know we are on that one tube light the light the, 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 the wings of the family go, everybody will be sitting down very quietly that's not library. Library is collection of books. <laughs> you don't need to have a place and a shelf. Some of you, your books are not in one place. I just pay you. With this key of knowledge, you need to go home, gather all your books in one place. When I see your books, I can predict, I can describe your thinking pattern because your books will <coughs> determine your looks. I'm telling you the truth. My time is up, but I think this is the sixth key. Let's rush the seventh one. What do you think? Yes, Let's rush it. So we finish this thing up. And so key of knowledge is so important. I hear people say that church is close by, so I'm going to that church. I just understood your mentality. Your mentality is proximized. <laughs> In other words, anything that is close... <laughs> Is what you live by. So soon <laughs> you are going to be living by the foods that are close by. <laughs> oh, it's so terrible. Say with me, I'll go anywhere, I'll go anywhere. For, the for the truth. No matter the distance, no matter the, distance. No matter the, inconveniences. No matter the inconveniences, if the truth is there, the truth is there. I am heading towards it. You know what that, that confession just made you? An answer to your generation. Amen. That's what that confession made you. You have answers to questions. People go to close by church. <laughs> anyway, the Bible says, in the day of trouble, a neighbor is better than a brother's house. So, <laughs> yes, 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 a neighbor. I love the book of Proverbs. It gives you wisdom. <laughs> so, if you could not make it to the church, you better go to the close by church. You got it? Uh huh. Okay, so we'll, we'll go further. Hallelujah. So you know a wise man by his craving for knowledge. 
who cannot receive the keys of the kingdom except through knowledge. True knowledge. I mean revelation knowledge. Power is useless without knowledge. Power is useless without knowledge. Power to be rightly used is required knowledge and wisdom. See that? <clears throat> required knowledge and wisdom. However, when he, the spirit of truth is come, the Bible says, which is already here now, he will guide you into all truths, the Bible says. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. This is assurance for knowledge. Amen. Glory to God. So when we depend on the Holy Spirit to guide us, we are led to the truth without any guesswork. Amen. When we have knowledge, we don't guess in the situation. When you have knowledge, you don't what? Guess in the situation. You don't think, uh, should we pray or should we fast? No, 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 no. When God's word says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measures pressed down, running over, shaking together, shall men give back to your bosom. You know that you don't need to pray for someone to give to you. You need to give for someone to give to you. It's a knowledge. Hello? It's a knowledge. Just by whose stripes you were healed. Now when you know that, you have to know that that settles it by whose stripes we were healed. Amen. And so in Matthew chapter 4 verse 4, Jesus would speak God's word back to the devil when he showed up. Even though he was son of God, Jesus was son of God when he walked on the face of the earth. Son of God. Yet when Satan showed up, he didn't speak his own word. See, I'm warning you. I'm warning you. If I give you, huh? He didn't speak those things. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. He spoke the book of Deuteronomy. He spoke God's word back to the devil. So knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. You have to understand. I love it when the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, by the truth. What did he say? By the truth. What did he say? He said, do not sell it. Buy it, do not sell it. Now, in our generation, when you say buy, what comes to our mind? Cash, money. But in Jesus' generation, when you say buy, exchange comes to their mind. What comes to their mind? Exchange. I have a horse, you have a cart. I need a cart, you need a horse. So I will give you my horse, you will give me your cart. And then I would, maybe I'll, obviously I will have other horses. So I will fix my horse to the cart you gave me and I'm complete. You will fix your cart to my horse that I gave you. You are complete. Now that's the way Jesus time they traded. And that's the way, when you say buy, that's the pattern of mind they think. And here it didn't say buy tomatoes. It didn't say buy gold. It didn't say buy bread. Truth. So you cannot truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth. You can buy him, but you have to exchange for him. You have to sacrifice things for him. What did he say? If you leave father, mother, land, houses. He said that. That's the way to buy the truth. When you, when you, when you exchange your convenience. Now, most of you here just came from work. You're supposed to be in your house watching nice, uh, you know, I don't know. Just, you know, cooling off with one, uh, you know, juice and, um, you know, just feeling refreshed. But you didn't do that. Hello? You came for Bible study. You're buying the truth. Your convenience, you're buying... You are watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Satisfy the human heart. Money cannot satisfy the human heart. Pleasure cannot satisfy the human heart. Comfort cannot satisfy the human heart. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human heart. Jesus is the Son of God. He is the Word of God made flesh. God's Word made flesh. And He walked the earth. And He faced the things that we're facing. Passed through the difficulties that we passed through.
and was without sin, the Bible says. He was without sin. He was sinless. The seed of God's word became flesh. And he died on the cross for my sins and for your sins. And the Bible says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord Jesus. You can call upon that name wherever you are and you can be saved today. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human. This is Atmosphere of Love. Welcome back. Let's join Apostle Edmund Zocorde as he continues to share the message of God's love. You're buying the truth. Now, most of us who have come to the all night, you know very well that is buying the truth because your eyes want to sleep. But you, you don't want it to sleep. You want to get the truth. And you, and you just keep it up. No, no, no. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. You know? You, you, you just, you want to get the truth. That's buying the truth. Now, ask your friend, can I see your bills for the truth? <laughs> now, that means their life, because you cannot show a bill like this. See, from, from standard one. <laughs> you cannot show a bill like that. Your life will show it. Amen. And so, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Say it. In the book of Ephesians, the Bible talks about one of the armor, one of the armor that we used to fight against lies of the enemy, that we used to put the enemy where the enemy belongs, is the sword of the spirit. He says, which is the word of God. You have to, now what does that mean? It doesn't mean Bible. Because if it means Bible, wherever we put the Bible, Satan will not come there. That's not what it means. What it means is the use of the word. The right application of the word. And that does not happen except you marry knowledge and wisdom. When knowledge and wisdom come together, you'll be able to rightly apply God's word. Amen. Two girls heard a preaching of how Jesus walked on water. And they set out to walk on water. I wish they would have tried a pool. Yeah, someone would have, I mean, they went to use a river and they drowned. Now, that is knowledge quite well, but it's not rightly applied. It's knowledge quite well. Many believers are in that situation. They know it. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measures, pressed down, taken together, running over, shall men give to your bosom. Yeah, but do it. Rightly what? Apply it. Apply it. So many people know the word of God. They know it. They confess it. They meditate on it. But right application gives assurance for transformation and result for that situation. Say amen. And so the sword of the spirit, the sword of the spirit, the sword of the spirit. Some people in the realm of the spirit they are saw this like office pin. You know office pin? <laughs> <laughs> you know the office pin? <laughs> and when the devil shows it, hey! 
and he lived there. The devil says like that. But some of us, when he shows up, you know when you put a torchlight in front of a mirror, how it shines? That's the way our sword shines. So long. And we'll put it now, he said, I'm just passing by. He said, good, pass by quickly. Why? Because we're fed on the word of God. We're meditated on the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's it. So you, you tell your friend, is your sword like an office pin? <laughs> like yes. It shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way. Amen. Amen. It shouldn't be that way. Hallelujah. So, looking at these keys, as we go to the last key, looking at these keys, I say in my writings, we are the most sophisticated soldiers in the history of battle. We are sophisticated. We are armored. We are empowered with amazing weapons in the history of battle. So, no room for failure. Tell your friend. Tell someone else. As we close the key of knowledge, Hosea 4 6. True, quickly. Hosea 4 6. Hosea 4 6. Many of you, when I call Hosea, you remember Goma. <laughs> right, saints? Because you saw in that uh, all night meeting, you know. Hosea 4 6. Reading together. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt no more, thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. It's painful though. What do you think? It's painful. God says, forget your children. It's painful. Knowledge is very important. Listen, what knowledge will do, prayer will this not do. This concludes today's episode of Atmosphere of Love. When Praise Jesus the Lord. faced and welcome to Atmosphere of Love. I believe you have been blessed by what you have learned concerning the key of knowledge. God's word is what gives us reality knowledge, life knowledge. God's word gives us real knowledge. And you know, many things you know, as you begin to walk with the Lord, you have to unlearn them because they don't go together. It's like trying to mix water and also oil together. When you mix a little while, you think it's going to work, but when you leave it, it will separate. Many things we learn in our home, many things we learn in our institutions, they're directly against the principles of God's word. Why? Because they are sense ruled facts, they are sense ruled discoveries, and God does not depend on our sense knowledge. So to transform our life. God does not depend on our sense knowledge to change our situation. God does not depend on our sense knowledge to do something in our life. So this week, I'm very happy to come your way today again as we are sharing on the keys of the kingdom. And I believe you have been blessed. Before we go, I have a, a couple of things to share with you. But then I want to read a verse of scripture for you and then we will pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11, reading verse number 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. He that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, what are you going through? What are you waiting for? This is a new month and I welcome you to a beautiful month of milk and honey. May that be your experience. May that be your spiritual experience. May that be your natural experience, etc. May God manifest his sweetness in your life and his sureness of his word. So what are you going through? This month of March, what are you going through? I come to you with a word from God that it can be better 
you can get out of that situation, no matter what it is. Is it your body? Is it the doctor's report? Is it uh, the way things normally go? And you have been accustomed, you have been used to, you have put up with a situation like that. God has something to say about the situation. God will change your situation, only believe. I just read to you right now in the book of Hebrews that faith pleases God and those who come to God must believe that He is and is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. That you are seeking Him, praying, confessing the Word of God over your life, confessing the Word of God over your situation. Uh, you are not foolish. God's Word works. The Word works. So stay with it. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for the privilege you've given unto me to reach your children every week through the studio. I pray for everyone under the influence of the words of eternal life in this program right now. Meet them at the point of their need in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Two agrees as touching anything according to your word, as touching anything, in your name it will be done. The next level in their life, I speak it forth even this first week of a fresh month. I speak it forth in the name of Jesus. I command sickness to leave their body. I command pains to go. I command frustration to stop in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every distraction of every kind. The mind that is not focused. I speak sanity in your mind. I speak peace in your mind in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Attacks of the enemy in your health. Multiple attacks of the enemy. Be free in Jesus Christ's name. Be free of those attacks. Be free of anxiety. Be free of fear. Be free of epilepsy. Be free of disease in the skin. Be free of disease in the internal organs. Be free, be free from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be made whole in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I believe that you, you use your faith and if you use your faith, you will always receive. Every week, I'm very excited to come your way every time in Atmosphere of Love Studio and we pray together. I'm just very excited. Now, there's something on our calendar here that I want to say to you before I go and that's March 8. So I'm calling every woman, being you a young girl or me you a married woman, I want you to speak one minute what you think about women and uh, be real, okay? Because we're not going to criticize whatever your comments are. And I want you to go to our website, okhorode.org, www.ohorode.org. Okhorode. Go to that website and we would have put it there. And so you just go there and you can upload your text or video. We would prefer video because it's just like that now. So come March 8, it's going to be Women's Day and we want to hear what you think about women and uh, especially women. Okay, if you're a man also, we want to hear what you think about women, but it is especially women. We want to hear them, what they think about themselves. Wow. So I, I can't wait to get your comments, your video and uh, be real don't try to speak something you know we don't get impressed so easily by people's words be real speak what you think about women in the light of what you think about women we would like to hear that we'll, and then some of the comments we may deliberate on those comments probably in the live service or in the studio like this and i just want to say this to you month of march is a wonderful month new things are going to be released new things are going to come out watch out for all our updates on facebook watch out for updates on twitter watch out for updates on the social network and stand with us and let's do this thing let's reach out to a hurting world together ministering god's love this apostle edmund saying to you today jesus is 
Thank Lord. you for watching Atmosphere of Love. For more information, please visit our website, www.ohoro.org, or write us via email, office at ohoro.org, or call number plus 9181-4790-8731. Don't miss our next broadcast. Remember everything without love is nothing. Jesus is Lord.